Hey friends, thanks for joining us here today at Dollar Workout Club. I'm Drew, this is Lynn, this is Natalie, we are your hosts. And for those of you who are new uh, to Dollar Workout Club, the person in green will be showing you all the beginner modifications to the exercises. The person in yellow shows you intermediate, and the person in red shows you the advanced. So whatever your fitness level is, follow the person according to your fitness level. What we're going to do first is uh, we're going to go through the modifications to today's workout, and I'm going to have Lynn show the green and yellow versions, and then Natalie's going to show the red versions so you know who to follow during today's workout. The movement we're doing today is something called inchworms. Sounds really weird, uh, but it's pretty simple. So if you're green, what you're going to do is find a wall, and you're going to walk up to that wall and put your arms uh, shoulder width apart, and you're going to have them right about stomach level, and that's the starting position right there. From there, you're slowly going to walk your hands up, couple inches at a time until you get as high as you can reach and then from there walk yourself back down a couple inches at a time it uses your core uses your shoulders and um, and then we'll just be going at a fast pace so see how Lynn does this here she's going all the way up and all the way back down and that's one rep okay to make this move harder for green you just step your feet back even farther the closer in your feet are the easier it's gonna be okay I'm going to show you yellow and red at the same time. The only difference is that yellow will be bending their knees, which makes it easier. Red will have their, their legs completely straight, which makes it even harder. So from, from here, you're going to bend over, you're going to uh, touch the ground, and you're slowly going to walk your hands all the way out until you get into push-up position. And then from there, you slowly walk yourself back in. And as you notice, as Natalie's doing it here, her legs are completely straight. As Lynn is doing it, you see her knees are bent, which helps her... Uh, it assists her in the movement. When your legs are straight, it's a really, really it hard workout. Hard. Your core, and, your and shoulders. And you know, my knees might be just a teeny bit yeah. bent. I have real short legs and a long torso, so yeah. it's not that proportionate. She's got a weird hard. body. It's like hey. short. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, have weird, I got a short torso and long legs, so I have, my body's even weirder. So anyways, that's the movement we're doing today. So pick who you want to follow during today's workout. Lynn and I are going to get started with the warm-up, so you just follow along with us while Natalie explains the structure of today's workout, which is scary. Yes, this is death week, so if you've been with us Monday and Tuesday, you know the structure, how this is <coughs> gonna work. So basically, um, in the on the other days, we always started at four reps. Today, because inchworms take a little bit longer to walk out and walk back in, we're starting at one rep. So what that means by what I'm saying is that in minute one, you do one inchworm. In minute two, you do two inchworms. In minute three, you do three inchworms. In minute four, you do four, so on and so forth. There is a 20 minute time cap, but what you'll find is that you're just gonna, eventually your shoulders are gonna get burnt out or you won't, you'll run out of time and you won't be able to do the certain number of reps within that 60 seconds. So let's say, you know, you get to 10, you're going to be doing 10 inchworms in 60 seconds and you only, you may only have a couple seconds rest before it's time to go right into 11. So the more reps you get, it gets exponentially harder and it's going to feel kind of easy at the beginning, but it's deceivingly easy because it gets much, much harder. So if you're confused, don't worry. We'll just follow along with us. We'll have the workout on the screen and then we'll be going at the same pace every 60 seconds. We'll start again, just like you guys are. Yep. All right, I'm going to finish with this lifting that up. knee up, and like you're jumping over a hurdle, you're just lifting that leg over that hurdle. really loosens up your hips. <laughs> I'm gonna, this is kind of hard to balance, clumsy. so if you yeah. need to, stand next to a wall. Yeah, you can stand next to a wall. Or but basically, you're loosening up your hips. A little bring bit that leg up as high as you can, and like you're stepping over a big step, okay? A couple Looks more weird, times. but it feels good. And we'll get started. All right. Okay, you guys, All right. we're gonna go ahead and get started in just a few seconds. So go ahead and get to your starting position and we are going to start in three, two, one, and go. Remember, we're just doing one rep. And relax, okay? Super easy, right? This is kind of just like a warm up to the pre-warm up to the <laughs> pre-workout, to the workout, oh to the post-workout, just kidding. Um, it does seem really, really easy. You're like, these guys suck. They didn't <laughs> this isn't, it doesn't even hurt. <laughs> just wait, okay? <laughs> just wait. And you guys, if you were here yesterday, your shoulders are probably quite tired from the thrusters that we did. So Mine are, like just walking my body and holding it in plank position <laughs> to walk back. It, yeah. I can already feel that in my shoulders. So when we get up to 10 in 20 terms, seconds, 20 seconds. If you still think it's easy, I want to see like a video yep. and proof. 
because that is hard. 10 inch work. Remember green, we're starting down low and we're going up as high as we can reach back down to starting position. And remember to be on your toes and away Five, from the wall so that four, it's actually a difficult move three, as you go up. Two, one. We're doing two reps here, okay? Remember, if you're red, you keep your legs straight the whole time. One. And remember, you guys, it's important to keep your core tight throughout this whole, mo whole movement. So I mean like your Two. abs, your core abdominal area. Think of belly button to spine, squeezing that belly button yeah. as tight as you can, keeping that core tight as you inch your body out yeah. and back so that you avoid any back pain from this move. <laughs> the hardest part here is just going to be speed because yeah. I that took me 13 seconds second, yeah. to do two. So we're going to be at like eight, and you're going to be pushing yeah. six. Yeah. So we'll probably get eight or nine, and that's With probably very all we'll little get. rest. Yeah. Here we go. 20 seconds, you guys. Remember, we're on rep three for the third minute. We got this, okay? So this is a really good core and shoulder workout here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even here a little go. bit of a glute workout, because when you come up, you should squeeze your glutes at the top, too. Yeah. All right, ready? We're on rep three. Five. And five, four, three, two, one, and go. One, two, and here we go. Good job, guys. All right. The other thing I want to point out is that you can't, don't cheat yourself by stepping out when you fall down. So yeah. don't start like this, okay? <laughs> you start you right have to your start toes. right in front of your toes and walk out. Yes, yep. all the way That's out. That's what's called inchworms. And yeah. all the way in. Not footworms or yeah. feet Not, or <laughs> not fall down worms. on your face with worms. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we have about 20 seconds left. All right, we're on rep four, you guys. You guys doing okay? Yeah. Super easy, yep. guys. Super easy. Until. I'm yeah. going to focus on speed and yep. just try and get warmed up for the real thing here. And it's just there minute. we go. 10 seconds, you guys. We're on rep four. We got this. Ready? Four. Go get the starting three, position. And three, two, two, two one, and go. go. Good job, guys. All right. Quick movements, quick hands is the key here. If you want to get them done yep. faster, it's quick hands, okay? It's not big steps, okay? That's cheating. Yep. But quick hands, t -t 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 -t, okay? Whew, As you notice, the time. recovery time is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. That's what's yeah. scary about this death, this death by week, you know? It's uh, very deceiving. 15 seconds. Here we go, you guys. We got to stay mentally focused. We got this. We're on rep five, rep five, five reps, okay? We are? I thought we were on four. Nope. That was five. Four. five? Yep. yep. Not even keeping track. No. Jesus. I didn't Three. cheat, I promise. Ready? Two, one, go. Here we go. Good job, you guys. Make sure you're breathing during this whole thing. A lot of times when people do ab work, they have a tendency to hold their breath. Oh, shoulders are starting to burn. Five. Woo! Good job, good job. Whose shoulders are burning? Mine. <laughs> Mine have been six there. I'm not sure, but. Oh, uh, uh. now they did eight, I think. So. <laughs> yeah. 25 seconds. I know. The shoulders are starting to burn. That's for sure. Plus, it's a great workout. I'm looking at how fast that's going. I I know. Know. Just even trying to think to get to 10. We at got this, this pace, I wouldn't even be able to fit it into the minute. I'm going to have to step up my game, man. Speedy Gonzalez. Quick hands, quick hands. Here we go. We're on rep six, right? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Count your reps. All right, up and back is one. So I have a tendency to lose track of my reps. So I'll go three, 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 three. The whole time with every step. So Here that way go. I don't forget. Move those hands, move those hands. Walking back, it's harder for me. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one more. Six. Hey, guys. Good job. That took me 32 go, go, seconds, go. so go, go. hopefully I can Under get bent, to 12. Yeah. 
Oh. See, that'll be my we goal. Oh my gosh, this. that took me 40 seconds. <laughs> That's my goal. Just to be able to get to 12. Oh man, we'll see. There we go. 13 seconds, you guys. Around seven is where it gets hard. We got this, you guys. Let's get to 12 or 20. Just kidding. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Ready? Three, two, one. Seven reps. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, come on, faster. <laughs> Two more. Uh, Good job, guys. Almost there. Uh, whew. Get it, get it. There you go, 40 seconds. See? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Catch your breath. Yeah. We have 10 seconds about. Here we go. Eight, we're on eight. We got this. Here we go. Quick hands, quick hands. Man, that came too fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two, one, inchworm. Here we go, eight. Go for speed. Remember, if you're red, keep those legs straight. Yep, keep those legs straight. Don't cheat. For yellow, you can bend your legs. How far there? Four. There we go. Move those hands. Keep going, you guys. Five. Keep moving. Keep moving. Don't quit. Six. Two more. Uh, it's burning. It's burning. One more. Oh, Go on. Job, get guys. it. Get it. Eight. Ah, uh, 15 seconds. Here we go. Shake those arms out. Shake those oh. arms out. We got this. We got this. We're on nine, you guys. We're on nine, right? Oh, man. Really? Here we go. Yep. <laughs> See, we're doing good. Ready? And go. Here we go. Nine. Go, go, go. Uh, come on. Move. <laughs> Keep going, you guys. You got 40 seconds left. Come on, move faster. Twenty-five seconds left. Wait, one more. Ah, oh, thirteen seconds. Here we go. Woo. We're on double digits, you guys. This is where it gets hard. Stay focused. Stay strong. Here we go. Five seconds. We're on ten, right? 10? I can't breathe, but Ready yeah. and right? go. 10. Here we go. Move that body. Here we go. Move. Good job. There we go. Halfway there for me. 25 seconds left. Uh, uh, keep going. Seven. It's walking Three back. <laughs> it's really hard for me. Here we go. Uh, almost there. 15 seconds. Uh, almost there. And 10. Uh, eight seconds to spare. Here we go. We're on 11. Uh, here we go. Ready? Two. One, go. Here we go. Get 11. Get it. Uh. Uh. Keep pushing, you guys. Oh, I gotta shake my arms out. You need to take a break. That's okay. Just get right back on. Thirty seconds left. Here we go. Come on. It's gonna ready to be a race to the finish here. Don't quit. 
Uh, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Keep going, you guys. 15, don't give up. Just keep moving, just keep moving. 10. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, I didn't get it. Go, go, go. I didn't get it. Ah, go Natalie, 12, 12, 12. You got this. If you're still going at home, keep going. If you're done, you can go ahead and fast forward to the stretching. Come on, Natalie, go, go, go. Oh, man. Good job. There we go. Rockstar. Good job. 15 seconds left. There we Ooh. go. Go, go, go. Oh, man. Nice job. 40 seconds, 40 seconds. Good pace, good pace, good pace. Six. Yep, keep pushing yourself. Keep pushing yourself at home. There we go. 30 seconds left, 30 seconds. Good pace, good pace. Eight. There we go. Nice job. 25 seconds. Keep pushing. Shake those arms out, you guys. <coughs> go, go, go. 15 seconds left, 15 Woo-woo. seconds left. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 11. You All got right, this, you got, got this. It. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. You got it. Go, go, go. 12. 12. Nice All right, job, rest girl. five seconds. You got this. 13, 13. All right. Can't she get to round 14? Here we go. Ready? Moment of truth here. There you go. Go, go, go. My One. Shoulders. She's definitely going. <laughs> She's definitely going for it. She's Good a rock job. Star. 50 seconds left. 50 seconds left. If you guys are at home and you're still going, then keep going. Keep going Push strong. up as long as you can go. If you're done already, feel free to fast forward to the stretching, okay? That's Complete totally reps, fine. you guys. Do the best you can. At this point, with no rest, you should be completely fatigued. You're almost halfway there. Step it up a level, okay? 30 seconds, 30 seconds, Natalie. Or if you guys just want to do what we're doing, watch Natalie. (laughs) That's totally fine. Good job, Natalie. Keep going. This is complete shoulder burnout, 20 seconds, 20 seconds left. Go, go, go. Get through this round. Get through this round. 15 seconds left. Two more. This is 10. 10. Go, go, go. 10 seconds. Here we go. 11. As many as you can. As you go, can. Go, go. <laughs> One more. She One might more. get in 12. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, good job, oh, girl. Good job. Time good job, girl. That, that is hard. She got through 12. Oh. She got to the 13th round. Nice job. 12. Good job, Woo. you guys. Good job today, you guys. That, that was, was a tough hard. one. That's the thing is inchworms, usually we do those for warm-ups. They're a great warm-up. But, man, you could use this for a workout, My especially shoulders. in this type of structure, this death week. Oh. Is great, you guys. This Burn is out. a great workout. Functional movement, functional movement. That's what we do here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, since we just did a lot of inchworms, we're actually going to do some downward dog, which I know is going to be hard on your shoulders. <laughs> this is like <laughs> so a, shake those arms like out, you guys. It's like an awful joke. Okay, but we're not, uh, you know, we're not having to do the whole inchworm thing. So, well, you do it for a second. Basically, <laughs> downward dog looks like this. Okay. Drool Natalie and I will do our shoulders. This is definitely. Stretch. This is like a machete to the back, <laughs> man. This is mean. <laughs> This is me rebelling. Okay, downward dog is a great yoga pose, though. <laughs> Put your butt in the air. Step. Push those heels to the ground. <sighs> Put your head between your arms like this, so you're looking down at your toes, okay? The highest point should be your butt in the air, and when you're flexible, you should be able to touch your heels to the ground, but obviously, I'm not. And Lynn's not even close, so <laughs> she's still standing I'm up. I'm stretching my shoulders like, I'm still a little lightheaded from getting really, uh, Worked in that move, okay, and when you're nice lightheaded, and easy, nice and easy. never put your head below your heart. What? I said when you're lightheaded, never put your head below oh. your heart. Um, anyways, stretch sitting crossover oh. back stretch. So what you're gonna do is have both legs out in front of you. You're gonna bring one leg over the other leg, cross it over, and then from there, take the opposite elbow to that knee, and you're gonna twist your body. Oh, my back definitely needs this. Push off of that knee with that elbow, twist your back. You oh should feel gosh. a nice good stretch in your upper back by your traps and even your mid back too. Even my hand that's behind me for support is like wobbling right now. I'm so shaky, <laughs> seriously. It's the walking back that was really hard for me. Yeah. Me too, yeah. me too. That's where I would Cause you down. have a little bit of your body momentum as uh-huh. you go out, but coming back in is when my shoulders. That's when you really have to use your core to yeah. switch. My arms Other gave side, out long before the rest of me from thrusters yesterday. Uh, Man, my shoulders uh, are already burnt. So you guys, were over halfway done with death week we got two more death workouts this week so invite your friends to join us for those ones <laughs> tell them hurry up and get them to join today so they at least get experience death week <laughs> and last week was hell week so you know they can always start there if they want to <laughs> <laughs> now he's like don't do it no. don't do it save yourself <sighs> just kidding you guys 
thing is all of the workouts here at Dollar Workout Club are about oh. working out smarter, not longer. That's why all of our workouts are only between 10 to 20 minutes long, so you can get back to your day, get back to the things that you love to do, okay? We, we like to work out, but, you know, there's other important things like taking care of your kids, spending time with family, seeing sights, traveling, things like that, that are also important too. So um, we hope you guys will join us back here tomorrow here at Dollar Workout Club. We love you, and we appreciate you. See you guys next time. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, so I had a very popular post on social media a while back that had to do with uh, my manhood. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, you're like, what is Drew talking about? Um, so I was uh, very nervous to talk about this on, on social media, but I thought it was very important because a lot of women ask me for their husbands about what happens to you when you gain weight or lose weight to a man's penis length. And I know this is weird and crazy, but trust me, it's science. It, every about 30 to 35 pounds a man gains, he loses an inch to his penis size. And um, so I ended up gaining over 70 pounds. You can guess how many inches that was. And yes, I was freaking out because I'm like, what is going on here? Like things aren't the same size they used to be. And um, I was freaking out, I'll be honest with you. But I did have a good friend who was a doctor who was monitoring me. I said, look, this is totally common. You don't have to worry about it. I have a lot of He's like, I have a lot of clients, male, that come in here for, you know, penis extension, surgery or whatever it's called. And he's like, he tells them, lose, you know, 30 pounds first and then, and then we'll talk about it. And then they do and they notice that all of a sudden their penis is <laughs> larger. And um, it's true, it's science. Um, the more fat you have, the shorter, the more it sucks it in and it's smaller. Plus it appears smaller. Um, and the more weight you lose, every 30 to 35 pounds you lose, you gain an inch. So if you lose 70 pounds, you'll probably gain around two inches in, in size. And you could Google it, you know, ask Dr. Google, uh, talk to your doctor about it. But um, I know it's kind of weird. Uh, so all you guys out there, do it for your ladies. <laughs> if that's not motivation, I don't know what is, okay? <laughs> that is motivation right there to lose weight. Um, but I thought you guys should know about that. Uh, but obviously, at the end of the day, it is about your health, um, but this is just one of the perks, the benefits, the bonuses to losing some weight. Hey guys, we just want to take a second to let you know how much we appreciate you. Dollar Workout Club wouldn't be a club without each of you guys, and you mean so much to us. Yeah, and we want you guys to leave your comments. There's a section below where you can talk about if you've tried the recipe, or how you thought of the workout, or how you did in the workout, or questions about the motivational tips. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below. Yeah, and don't forget to invite your friends, you guys, to join us here at Dollar Workout Club, and don't forget to follow us on social media using these handles below. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.